Hi everyone, on this week's episode, I'll be turning a $5,000 tooth. Before we take a look at this expensive tooth, I need to explain how I got it. Now there's a bit of a story behind it. So while I'm telling this story, I'm gonna start making a base for it to sit on. Three months ago, a good friend of mine went to the dentist with a chip in his tooth. He had a crown put on and everything was fine. But two months later, he started to get a massive toothache. So he went back to the dentist, who told him that he had an infection and gave him some antibiotics. Now a couple of weeks later, he still had the pain, but it was getting worse. It was in his neck, his jaw, behind his eyes. It got so bad, he went back to the dentist, who thought that maybe the crown was too high, so he ground it down. But that didn't work. The pain never went away. So the dentist said, come back in a week for a root canal. A few days later, he was drinking some cold water and he had excruciating pain. He went straight to the dentist and said, I'm in too much pain, pull the tooth. Now after the tooth was pulled, he was in even more pain. He ended up going to the hospital and had a series of tests. They told him that he had trigeminal neuralgia. It's a condition that causes painful sensations similar to an electric shock. Now I first heard about this condition when I saw an interview with Travis Barker on the Joe Rogan podcast. Travis has trigeminal neuralgia and was told that it was most likely caused by impact. Now this makes sense since my friend had spent 30 years boxing, 12 as an amateur and 18 as a pro. He won a heap of titles as well, including amateur state champion, WBF Australasian and WBC Continental. Now all up he spent over five grand on this tooth and even if he sticks it under his pillow, there ain't no way the tooth fairy's given him that much. So he decided to do the next best thing and give it to me so I could preserve it forever. So it's now the next day and my base is all cured. You'll notice that I used black and white, which is also the same color of his boxing trunks. Now for the top here, I'm gonna do something a little different. First, I'm gonna apply some tacket and then some gold leaf. Now that I've finished with the gold leaf, it's time to take a look at the tooth. Check it out. This thing is massive. Check it out. You can see where the crown was put on. And look at the root system. This was definitely a healthy looking tooth. Now, as most of you will know, I've never put a tooth in resin before, so I really hope this works. My plan is to glue it down with some UV resin. We'll then stick this inside a plastic cup and pour some epoxy over the top. We'll then stick it in the pressure pot and watch it cure on pot cam.
I'm assuming the pot cam you just watched was quite boring. I bet it wasn't as explosive as last week's chocolate episode. Well that looks like we've got a nice casting. So the next thing we need to do is get it out of this cup onto a waste block and start turning on the lathe. Well as you can see, I turned it into an egg. My mate knows how much I love making eggs, he even owns a couple. So now to finish this one, I need to give it a sand and a polish. Before we check out this beautiful egg, I just want to ask a little favour. If you know someone that's had a boxing career, or perhaps taken some impact to the head, please share this video with them. They may have trigeminal neuralgia and not even realise, and this video might help them get their diagnosis. Now this egg has to be one of the strangest I've made, but I think it's turned out really cool, so let's check it out. 